Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are Chongyang No and Kyungwon Moon. The topic we are going to talk about is infinitesimal calculus in mathematics history. It's a topic you can easily learn about, so it won't be such a hard time watching this video. The first thing we will talk about is ancient infinitesimal calculus. Second, the conflicts of priority between Newton and Leibniz. Third, the descendants of Leibniz and Newton. And lastly, the contemporary infinitesimal calculus. The leading country in ancient times was indeed Greece. The notion of tangents that the Greeks accepted only had geometric meaning. The ancient Greeks were interested in drawing figures and examining the tangent of cone sections. These contents are handed down through old books, but they consider calculus and integral calculus a whole different notion. In fact, the story of conflict between Newton and Leibniz is inevitable to speak about. The picture in the left is Leibniz, who you could be unfamiliar. The picture in the right is Newton, who is much more famous with the law of gravity. From now on, we're going to see more about their relationship. Newton found calculus earlier, but only introduced to the Great Britain's Royal Society and stopped introducing it. Leibniz, who found calculus independently at some later time, didn't want to act like Newton. After a few decades, Leibniz's way of calculus was introduced to all Europe except for the Great Britain, and Leibniz was acknowledged as a creator of calculus. Then, after an English mathematician argued that Leibniz plagiarized the study of Newton, Leibniz went to a counterattack. The situation got bigger and bigger, and eventually, this became the conflict between the Great Britain and the Europe continent. Well, actually, Newton and Leibniz's infinitesimal calculus is quite different. Newton's calculus is also called the method of fluxions. Newton created the method of fluxions as a tool to represent the movement and directions. Newton only considered mathematics as a tool to calculate the natural science, and Newton represented the calculus as y prime. In contrast, Leibniz studied calculus as a philosopher. He succeeded in depth study of calculus by considering it another subject. Leibniz's symbol was dy dx. By only looking at it, you can know what is more convenient, but you will soon recognize that Leibniz one is much more convenient when you actually calculate something. After Leibniz and Newton, Taylor, Maclaurin, Jacob Bernoulli, Johann Bernoulli, Euler, Lopiter, Lagrange, Laplace, Procre developed and arranged the infinitesimal calculus. From now on, we are going to look how calculus is used nowadays. First in IT industry, second in economics, and lastly in various media. There aren't many people who know that there is a hidden mathematics principle in 3D printer called the theorem of Fubini. The notion of 3D printer starts with infinitesimal calculus. After scanning a 3D object, it prints 2D flat surface by si slicing the object. It's really similar to integral calculus by adding the small fragments. There is also a hidden mathematics principle in smartphones. It's Fourier's transform method. Fourier's transform method transforms information into curve by using calculus. This principle is now widely used in almost every electronic device. As many of the fund managers of Wall Street are mathematicians, we could easily know that economics and mathematics have close connections. Typical one is calculus. It is said that they use calculus to predict the uncertain future situation. This movie is Jurassic World, which released recently. CG is now inevitable in movie industry. It is said that calculus is vital in almost every process, including when creating an imaginary object and making it move. If Leibniz and Newton didn't create the calculus, the actor of Jurassic World would have to actually meet with real dinosaurs. This is already prepared. Thank you for watching this video.